Hey, welcome back to another Black City Coffee vlog. So, um, update. This is going to be kind of a short one. But um, we went here yesterday, that vlog. I was letting you know that we had a um, appointment with these guys. A RET. I think a RETI or a RET a shop food trailers and carts. It was a local, so that really turned us on as to, um, oh, it's easy to get to for us to see. They had a showroom. So, here's the deal. Uh, I made an appointment with them on email. We got there to the location, pretty excited. It looks like a huge building, but it's in a co-working space. The co-working space um, looks at us like, hey, what are you doing here? We're like, oh, we have an appointment. Like, it's at 1030. Um, okay, let me go call somebody. Um, I email, I call, I leave messages. Finally, I get a response back saying, oh, sorry. Um, yeah, we're going to send over somebody right then. And uh, 50 minutes pass by. And I'm already, like, mad after five minutes being late. Um, I hate lateness. <laughs> so um, I'm like, this is, does not bode well. But I'm, I'm here. I want to see what's up. Um, but, yeah, I'm not in a good mood. Um, finally, the, um, the manager of the place, he's like, you know what? Maybe I can just show you guys and um, go to their little stall and um, show you their showroom. I was like, cool. Let's go see it. Uh, we go there. Um, it's this really kind of, like, run-down sheet metal temporary looking thing which i get it's not it's not a knock but it's not impressive um but i don't i'm not really judging but i'm not impressed um and they open this up and basically um i didn't film because they had a sign saying don't film um they uh they had two little trailers kind of like facing each other knocking into each other not up not in a show stance or anything like that um, you can kind of see into one of the trailers. Um, one was all wrapped up. You couldn't see into it. You couldn't open the door. Um, you can kind of see some things like the generator box. Um, good thing uh, my husband was there, so he was checking out the weld quality, the build quality, the steel manufacturing, all that stuff, um, the lining of the windows and insulation, which were all just pretty shoddy work, honestly. So while I was very disappointed that nobody was there to greet us and I wasn't able to ask any questions or anything. And I was left, I was basically stood up basically. Um, and some other guy had to help us out just cause we looked like a sorry <laughs> bunch of fools sitting in the corner waiting for nobody. Uh, but luckily he helped us out and kind of like, you know, eased it and made me feel less um, annoyed. I was really just annoyed. Um, thankfully we weren't driving from a far, far away location. We didn't run any traffic. It was so easy to get there. So. Um, I wasn't in too bad of a mood, which when I could have been, um, and we were able to see the trailers and go, okay, this is what I don't want. <laughs> so, um, so right away, I'm not, I'm very uh, unimpressed and um, a little uh, frustrated with this company. I don't recommend them. Um, you know, through email, it was all kind of like good and everything, and the way that they structure the email, I could have. Um, I could have sensed a sort of disorganization or uh, unprofessionalism because the, the wording is everywhere and it's like so much information. It's not really organized very well, but I was like, I don't know. I mean, let's just give it a shot. Um, so, uh, yeah, just totally unprofessional, unacceptable to be late. And later on, I get an email saying, I'm so sorry I wasn't there. Um, I didn't even know you had an appointment. Would you like to reschedule? I said, no, thank you. And I deleted the email from my thread. So, um, you know, I, I'm sure people run into this all the time, but um, being from the wedding industry, like we're snappy, like we're snappy on the email. And if you don't respond back right away, um, uh, that's just a show of unprofessionalism. Um, if you're late, that's a big show of unprofessionalism. We hate being late. We run a lot of, you know, we come from a business that, you know, time literally is money where things go on a timeline and if you're not there on time so that's just where I'm coming from and um, I think that's just being courteous and responsible but um, I think from where we're coming from it's like it's one of our biggest pet peeves ever um, we were highly highly turned off from that um, so yeah definitely um, don't recommend this company um, and even just even if that wasn't cool but maybe the the quality of the trailer upon viewing it and touching it and having our hands on it just didn't look really well built. Um, yeah, and not something that I would want to represent our, our company for sure, for Black City. So here is how we're going to pivot. Um, it was a good um, 
it was a good way to just see it in person. Like I said, I wanted to see the physicality, how big it was, and kind of just get more um, of that ethereal concept in my brain down on, on you know, see it, you know. Um, so we started looking at some other options and um, finding ways where we can be creative with our funds instead of just going, hey, let's just spend 10 grand. Because a lot of, of these food concession trailers, um, they get really expensive, you know, if you really want to deck it out, if you really want all the bells and whistles, which is so cool if you can do that. And it's such a great, I think, a great marketing tool um, and a way for us to have fun with what we're doing. Um, and yeah, but as we keep researching and we, we sat down and talked together today about um, what we could do uh, moving forward, we're like, okay, is trailers really the way to go? I still really love the idea of trailers, but I also really love the idea of, you know, maybe there are even smaller steps to get to the trailer. Um, so we still really are moving forward with the idea of a trailer, um, but maybe it's gonna take us a little bit longer to get it. Um, and I want it to be pretty specific and we're trying to find out all the things of like, hey, where do we store it? Um, how do we custom build it? How do we get it? you know, exactly the way that we want it to be. Um, do we have to get everything in one place or can we piecemeal everything and give it a little bit more character, give it a little bit more uh, cuteness? We also wanted to do events, so how could we do that? You know, so um, we're keep putting down some, some ideas and putting them down on paper um, and uh, seeing what we can do with that and letting the idea of a trailer fuel uh, the fire for the the big picture goal, which is like, how do we get our coffee out there, and how do we serve our coffee to the right people, um, and all the while finding out all the little things in between. So it was, even though it was a disappointment, like we didn't get to um, learn about the trailer in the initial way that we started like oh let's go to an appointment go to this cool showroom like I thought the showroom was going to be like you go to this car dealership and then you see all the trailers and stuff but um so I was just like oh okay <laughs> uh, and I'm sure uh this journey is going to be filled with many things like this so I'm not dismayed at all I, I learned so much in that time um and uh it's made me just smarter about how we're going to go about it so um, I'm still really stoked and, and psyched to see what's going to come of this this idea of a trailer and um, the idea of the smaller steps in between being pop-ups, you know, holding events, holding, dare I say, workshops. A lot of you guys have asked me since the very beginning about mentorship. I don't know about that, but I would love the idea of something in person with COVID going on, I don't know if that's possible, um, but something in person would be so cool, right? Um, something where it's a win-win for everyone. We're providing value, we're educating people, we're adding more people into this world that we love, which is specialty coffee. How can we get more people to understand this thing that we love? Or not even understand, but be compassionate to it. Um, that would be really cool. So yeah, uh, let's keep this video under 10 minutes. That's what happened today. I mean, you know, cool. That was a lemon, but <laughs> it was interesting. But yeah, I learned so much. It's all on paper, a lot is in here. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, the journey continues. So thanks so much for watching and joining me here and watching our journey and supporting us. Uh, we'll see you next time.